So this guy was originally, he was like some sort of B character superhero, but uh, I'm gonna put a new coat of paint over him. So let's just call this skin. So I'll pick a skin tone, but we'll do something like this. So the first thing I would normally do is I change the upper lip, see how I have it kind of flattened. So I would change that to a darker tone. So I'm just gonna take the color of the skin and just make it a little bit darker. And also because the lip usually falls underneath our, our teeth and face, a bit of a shadow and it's just the color of the lip. Let's add a new layer and name, name it Lip Up. So I'm gonna put the upper lip on its own layer. And layers are really great when you have um, things like this, like the mouth and stuff like that. They wind up being very, very useful. Okay, so that's pretty good for the upper lip. And I might smooth it. So I'll take smooth with zero intensity. So it's the same as regular smooth. I just clone the tool and zero intensity. That allows you to kind of smooth it out. So I'll just sort of smooth off the edges. It'll give it more of an organic feel, okay? And it's a little dark, so I'll take the layer and just turn it down a little bit. So maybe right around there. So let's add a new layer. I'm gonna take this one and drag it below the lip and let's call it lip lower. So for this color, I'll just bring it red and we'll do something like this. So sort of like a pinkish color. And we'll use that for the bottom lip. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'll take smooth with zero intensity. And in case you don't know what I mean by that, that's just like, the, here's the intensity at zero. Because if the intensity is up, it's going to affect the actual clay. I probably could have made it a little more red but it's not too bad. And maybe I'll just adjust it so it's not so, so pink. Uh, the tongue is kind of pink. I can make that a little more, a little darker maybe. So I'll make that a little darker. It's not bad, but we also want to do the inside of the mouth. So let's go back to the skin and I'll add a new layer and let's just call it inside mouth. So this we just want like a dark sort of reddish color. We don't want any glares, any shines in there. And let's actually hit solo since I have teeth and stuff. We'll just hit solo. We'll go to paint. We'll make sure we're on our inside mouth layer. Make this a little bigger. And now we're just coloring inside the mouth. And essentially this would be sort of behind where the lip color is and right now this layer is on top of everything so we should be able to see it on top of the other paints okay that looks pretty good sometimes i like to take it a little bit of a higher or a little bit of a less dark as i get closer to the edge of the lip just to kind of show that gradient and then i'll take smooth with zero intensity and i'll just smooth it out a bit okay so now i'll turn that back on and the inside of the mouth is a bit darker so if light's hitting it, like the eye sockets are going to be a bit darker. So we'll take the skin color and make it a little bit darker. And maybe we want to add this and just label it darker. So then we can do all of the parts that might be a little bit darker. So anything that's sort of underneath. And I can probably go a little bit darker right under here. Okay, we'll go back to a less dark color. And maybe I'll just have a little bit right there. Maybe a little bit more here. Oh, I didn't have symmetry on. That's okay. So we'll do a little bit of color here and maybe under the nose as well. Okay, so now we'll take smooth with zero intensity. Smoothie, and I'm just gonna call it smoothie because I can't keep repeating zero intensity. I'm gonna annoy myself. So this is a great smoother and we're just gonna smooth out all this paint. Uh, if you're, If it's not smoothing, that means that you're mesh is too dense it means this this number is too high i mean this is very high the reason why it works for me is because i've manipulated his face and the skin texture and the clay a lot when you manipulate the skin texture a lot um, you know by pulling and, and smoothing and flattening and things like that then it makes it sort of it sort of acts like it's low res in a sense okay it's a little that doesn't really smooth there the way i want so i'm just going to use smudge and then go back to smoothie and then just kind of smooth it out. But I think that looks okay. Let's take it a little bit darker. Anything that's like coming into contact, I like to add this little shadow. So this is essentially ambient occlusion. Ambient occlusion is like shadows from like your ambient area. 
it just makes it look more realistic. All right, great. So the next thing that I do, I'm going to do add a new layer, and then we're going to name it reddish. So I'll take paint. You want to go to a red color, just like this. On, on my paintbrush, I'm going to bring the intensity really low and make the brush a little bit bigger. So make sure that you're on your reddish layer. And then I'm going to add some here. I can make this probably a little bit bigger. The reason I'm making it bigger is because I want it to be very, very soft. So put some there, maybe on the nose. You can put a little around the lip area. And then maybe a little above the eyes. And if you want to get really, really technical, you can take a little bit of a blue color and you can add it under the eyes a little bit. We can go to orange. I think that's a little more orange. And maybe have a little bit further up the nose. Have a little orange there. Take a little yellow. A little yellow up here. Maybe a little yellow here. Things like that. So there's a lot of areas where you can add color and it just I don't know, it just, it just works. So we'll use smoothie. Actually, let's smudge this. He has, he has a little bit more cheek here, so I'm just gonna kind of smudge this to cover more space. Okay, we'll take smoothie, and hopefully this will smooth nicely. You just want nice blended colors. Doesn't look like it's smoothing too nicely, but that's okay because we can lower the layer as well. So we'll just, we just want a smidge of it. So right around there maybe is good. Actually, when I did this, I made the eyebrows with like clay. So I'm gonna add some some dark eyelashes or eyebrow, eyebrow color with the paint. I actually don't know how, the, how good this is gonna look. Let's do it on a different layer. Let's make it even darker. So if I was doing this now, like you can do it this way, but I would advise like using another mesh or something to do the eyebrows. I wouldn't just paint them on because it makes it a little bit harder to color them. Let's see what it looks like if I smooth it. Oh, it's actually not that bad it's smoothed. That is going to look terrible. So a lot of times these little touches will really make or break your character. Oh, also I didn't paint inside the nose. I'll put a very dark color. You want a lot of roughness. We'll put this on darker. Uh, and this nose is actually really bad. I did this sculpt a long time ago. But I want to add some darkness for the nostrils. And hopefully this will smudge out nicely. Okay, it's not too bad. Just gives it a little more, a little more depth. But if, if I was doing this now, I would try to uh, maybe use layer with sub, with sub and really try to get in there. Create that, those um, cavities. Because I don't know how weird this is gonna look oh it's actually not too bad hmm. but essentially that's how i would that's how i would make those are some of the details that i would use for a face hopefully that was helpful i'll show you what it looks like with and without and you can hopefully see the difference of just adding little details like this okay so here is the skin with the details and then without the details and don't forget to take advantage of one month free of Skillshare. I have a link below. I think it's only for two more weeks, so you can get a month free. I have a ton of Nomad Scope classes over on Skillshare where I'm a top teacher. Make sure to go check those out. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.